Hey, welcome back to the Kayak 2.0 11 foot foam kayak. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of this real thin plywood wood in here because my corner didn't come out real pretty, but I thought if I put that little thin, I mean, it's super thin. It's like a, not even an eighth of an inch thick. It's like, but anyway, you can see it there. Um, so it helps me have a nice curve in here. And for these corners, I got some pieces of foam that will fit right in there with the, the 22 and a half degree angle. And I'll sand that corner out rounded a little bit. So I've got nice new round spots. And then I'll put my back bulkhead across here. And I'll come in after that. And I'll put my three quarter inch chamfer around the bottom like I did up here in the front. You can see how I got it be a lot easier to clean with that instead of going straight up against the, you know, like trying to clean something like that. Um, because squid and shrimp and all those guts like that, oh man, if you leave it on there in sunshine, it drops really, really hard. So the next thing I'm going to do um, is um, see if I can set this down without shaking it too much. Crazy shaking is. Uh, I want, I'm, uh, I was debating on whether to have these or not have these. I thought, you know what, if I put them in, you can always take them out. But if I don't, um, then I'd have to go cut into the kayak to put some, you know, put some wood in it to form the, form the screw to. So I have some old plywood here. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I just opened my fifth tube of liquid nails first squirt of tube number five and I'll be putting a uh, you know, one side of this primer and what I want to do is I'm going to put so I'm running short on clamps so I'm going to put it in with the bow of it out because otherwise I have to have a if I had the bow going this way, I have to have a clamp here and here. With the bow in the middle, all I'm going to do is just put one of these little tiny clamps on here because I don't have a bunch of clamps. Like some people have a lot, a lot of clamps, nice collection of clamps, but I don't have it. Put this on the outside of my phone so I don't make too big of a dent in it. You want to dent your foam? Yeah, just one more spot. You got to fill that later. Okay. Okay. If you look at my wood, see it kind of curves a little bit. So again, I want the I want the bow in the middle. Or just put the bow on the outside. See how. It's, Stick out, you stick out on each end like that, and you have to have a clamp here or one here. Just put your bow against your against your bow there. Another little handy piece of wood. Put it right there so it don't again don't dent the side of your side of your phone. Snug that up. You don't have to snug it up tight. It's not like you're doing a head gasket on a car. That would be important. This you just pull it up snug. Got your glue dry. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut. I got that piece of plywood left over. Um, when I started this build, I was going to go all foam, but as I go along, it's like, yeah, I'll add a little bit more of this, add a little bit more of that. So I already got like an eighth inch in the floorboard, so I can screw my chair down to. But I'm going to take that half inch plywood right there, and I'm going to cut it the width of the boat, and I'm going to lay it up here. 
and pencil mark it all the way around. And then uh, I'll cut out a hole here for a hatch and cut this out. And then uh, I'm gonna, I believe I'm gonna just gonna cap the whole top of this with plywood. And then uh, that way I'll always have a mounting surface everywhere. Have a good mounting surface all the way around. And then it'll all be the same height because I don't really want to go. See, this is a four inch side in here. Uh, the last kayak was six here and then in front was uh, eight. So I think I think the, the four inch is going to be more than adequate, especially with that big of a skag plate on the bottom. Pretty big skag. Skag. So you can see that down there. Now I was thinking about putting a centerboard, but I think with with a skag like that, you should be able to run a sail on this boat and sail pretty much close into the wind. Except the wind's blowing at you straight on like this. You can sail like that and it shouldn't push you off to the side. And uh, all I need is all I need is a rudder on the back. And I have that. So We'll have these up for the feet, and again, it's not going to be that much of extra weight. They're pretty light, they're plastic. Those for the feet, and then since the whole top's going to be plywood, I can put me a mount right here for a sail mast, and then all the cleats that I want to put on there, and it'll be fiberglass to this. This is already fiberglass in here. I uh, decided to go with the fiberglass this time to see what the cost difference is. I think with the poor man's fiberglass on the other boat was uh, $70, $75. And then I will uh, price out my, my fiberglass cloth and my resin and see how much that runs me. But I'm gonna imagine for fiberglass or epoxy and mat, somewhere around $200. Yeah, it's getting a little bit more expensive, but. I like the last kayak. I think I'm gonna like this one even even better. And I'm probably not gonna let this one go for what I have in it. So, all right, thanks for watching. Y'all leave a comment or suggestion, or if you're building one of these and you got some good ideas, let me know, because this morning I came out here and I couldn't figure out which, there, which direction to go in. It's a lazy Friday, man. I'm winded already. All right. See y'all later. 11-foot kayak 2.0.